I won't lie, that title is a little crazy, but it's true. I was racist before I watched this movie. I really did hate black people passionately. I couldn't stand the sight of them, which is why I'm blind. But nah, I always loved the Rush Hour movies. They're like these fun classic films that always put a smile on my face. But some people say that the Rush Hour movies are racist and sexist and I do agree that a lot of these jokes have not aged well and if you look at the creatives behind it it doesn't really help its case but re-watching it in modern times I was waiting for someone to say you're being racist like this is racism or something along those lines but that never happened now in the beginning they don't really like each other I think it's because they don't understand each other and I feel like they perceive each other to be completely different from one another and feel like they'll never get along. So Chris Tucker's character, James Carter, says some, let's say, colorful language. Some things people would consider racist. Now, I kind of understand if someone says this is offensive, but while doing my own research, I found out that this scene was actually inspired by real life. In the first meeting between Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker, Jackie didn't say a word and Tucker, being polite, waits until the end of the meeting, then asks the directors, does this guy even speak English? Which is funny because in interviews, Jackie said he didn't say anything because he didn't understand Tucker. Chris Tucker just speaks too fast for him. So in the movie, this is why Carter says, Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Now, the movie is more exaggerated because that's where the best comedy comes from making fun of half-truths to make them easier to talk about. And that's exactly what Rush Hour's all about. Throughout the films, they learn each other's customs. Carter learns about Egwa, and Lee learns about BBL, both understanding each other and appreciating each other's differences, realizing there's more in common than there is in conflict. And by the third film, Lee saying he's basically half black, since Carter's basically his brother. Which brings us to Paris. So who was in Paris? Jackie was. Biggles was in Paris. But nah, it's beautiful watching this dynamic duo grow over the trilogy. Some say they're disrespectful to each other, but they're bros. They're just messing around with one another. It's all in good fun. You'd only make fun of someone that you love. And I should probably say, obviously Rush Hour didn't solve racism, there's plenty wrong with the world, colorism, the depiction of Asians on film, and much more. But I think it's okay to have these perfect Hollywood arcs to see what could be, and not focus on pointless details like if an offensive joke aged poorly from a 20 year old movie, and instead focusing on the real villain of the trilogy, the evil white man. Dun dun dun. Because that's what unites any race. Also, that's how I solved my racism. I got the okay from the doctor a couple days ago. We're all good. I'm good to go. But I haven't solved the disease of not knowing how to end videos. Still don't, still have that disease. So subscribe to help. Actually, nah. I'm not asking. I'm demanding. Press subscribe. If you don't, I will harass you. I will be in your ears. I'm gonna talk to you like this. I'm gonna do whatever I want to you. Alright, I don't know what the fuck that was. Thanks for watching. I think I'm sorry. Uh, love you, bye.